from Messi. Oh, what a goal it is! Hello, listener, and welcome to another episode of the Bola Bola Show. It's me, Elvin, and on behalf of Sivan and Bala as well, we would like to welcome you to this show. It's no strange uh, when it comes to South American football that you tend to find clubs being named after other places around the world. You know, for example, in Ecuador, you have Barcelona SC, not Barcelona FC, though both, though both teams have the identical logo. In Argentina, you have Arsenal. Not the North London Arsenal, but Arsenal de Sarandi. In Chile, you have a club called Everton, not to be confused with the blue Merseyside team. And speaking of Merseyside, there's also Everton's rival Liverpool, with the same name based in And the stories keep going on, but these clubs and why they opted for these names has always been a fascinating one. Hence, why the moment we found out there is a team called Malaysia FC in Montevideo, Uruguay we had to get in touch with those guys to find out more about them so in this episode our man Sivan got a chance to speak to these two gentlemen by the name of Facundo and Gonzalo hope you guys enjoy this episode and happy listening hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Bola Bola Show podcast it's been a long time since we had one but something interesting happened over the last couple of weeks a tweet went viral on the <clears throat> Malaysian football circle uh, about a very interesting name team that is based all the way in Uruguay. So I felt that it was important for me to reach out to them because I think a lot of us here in Malaysia are very, very, very curious to know who these guys are, you know, about their background, you know, where did they start it from. So it is my pleasure to introduce you to the guys from Malaysia FC. Um, did I pronounce that correctly, guys? Yes, yes, it's. it's okay. Well, Firstly, maybe you can pronounce. It. <laughs> okay, okay. Firstly, maybe you can introduce yourself to our listeners and and a little bit about your background. Well, it's it's a pleasure. Uh, first of all, uh, we would like to send greetings to the audience and in particular in particular to all Malaysians. We are Gonzalo and Facundo, players of Malaysia. Uh, are you guys, uh, what do you call it, a full-time professional footballers? Or, you know, is it just, uh, you know, semi-pro? Or, I mean, what's, what is that, basically? No, it's, it's just uh, a hobby. We we play amateur and and on Saturdays we we meet with friends and, and we, we play football. Okay, wow, interesting, interesting. So I'm sure the first question everybody wants to know about Malaysia FC, how did it came to existence and what was the inspiration behind that name? Well, uh, Malaysia FC started as a result of many coincidences, was born from a group of nine friends who were looking for a flag as a badge. Mm -hmm. And we saw on TV an old program of the U20 World Cup in Malaysia in 1997. Ah, there okay. we <laughs> there we, we saw the flag of the country and we loved it because of its colors, the star and the moon. Mm. We asked a company to make us the Malaysian flag and we started to take every take it everywhere. We went together to the beach, meals with, with friends, birthdays and parties. So uh, the Malaysian flag united us as friends. Wow, okay, interesting. Interesting you brought up about that World Cup because I remember that World Cup very well. I remember La Celeste team that had the likes of uh, Zalayeta, um, yeah, right. Rivera, I think goalkeeper was uh, Fabian Carini. The coach, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, Victor Pua. Am I correct? Yes, yes, you're correct. Okay, that okay. was a, a great team. Yes, yes. We were the, the second of the of the championship that year, the okay. tournament. Okay, uh, I remember that com tournament very well also because I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you guys uh, because I, I'm a big fan of Albi Celeste, just to let you all know. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we are, we are we are like friends. We are just 
together in, in, in all Latin American cups and, and football. I see. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Um, I also noticed that the club's logo is very lot similar with the U.S. soccer logo. Could you share a bit about that? Well, uh, we we thought that uh, it could be great to have a, a white t uh, a white white t uh, shirt, so uh, and and elegant. So uh, the the Malaysian uh, the Malaysian flag. It's similar to the, the United States uh, batch, so we we thought that was a good idea to to uh, include all of it as as the image of the Malaysia FC. Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Now, um, as we speak, you know, where does Malaysia FC compete in the Uruguay Football System League? I mean, which level are you guys are at the moment? Well, uh. The, we compete in the in the Montevideo League. It's an amateur league, and, mm -hmm. and the league is divided in two zones. In 2022, we compete in the West Zone, and in 2023, we move to the East Zone because it is closer to San Jose, a state of Uruguay, where we are from. Is it fair to say that this is more like a social recreational team? Yeah, not, yes, not, that's right. Really, so you guys are not really like paid to play or anything. It's just uh, more or less your own vo volunteering, your own time and hobby. Yes, yes. We we it's it's our hobby, uh, and that's how uh, our, our friends are are closer. So so we we share the the the, the love for football and and party together. So so it's nice to. To have this hobby and and be together in in the practice in the uh, weekend. Uh, El football uni. O sea, no sé si está diciendo right, yeah, right. right. The the football unites us. So so it's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, nice. And uh, I understand the team was only founded in uh, July 2021. So how has been the journey so far? Well. The journey it, it's short, but but uh, it was it started with the we were champion in 2022. We were champions of the Copa Rio de la Plata. Oh, an okay. Congratulations. Cup. Thank you, thank you. Uh, an international cup between Uruguayan and Argent Argentinian teams, and it ha has been the the biggest success of the club and possibly of all the teams uh, of the amateur leagues of Montevideo, because we are the first and the only ones uh, and the only club with an international title. Same, thanks to that title, we were able to travel to Tandil in Argentina in 2022 and 2023. Okay, okay, okay. So I suppose that, that success that you had in 2022 has been the most successful story in the club so far? Uh, yes, yes, that's right. Hmm. Okay. Okay. By the way, can, uh, yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. No problem. Go ahead. Uh, we, uh, if you want, you we can show you the cup of the tournament. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, if you can, uh, yeah. you know, give me some photos of that occasion, that'll be nice. I can put it up in our blog. That'll be great. 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 We will send you after the the podcast. Nice. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Wonderful. By the way, I'm just curious. Has any one of the members of Malaysia FC ever been to Malaysia? Uh, no. Not. Not. Uh, for the moment, no, but <laughs> but it would be great to 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 go there and and know the country, its culture, and and all the the, the people there. Mm -hmm. Okay, because uh, I I believe that since that tweet went viral in Malaysia, it appears that your following on social media has increased as well. So you know, how has the response so far, and how is the feeling for everybody in Malaysia FC? Well, the response was crazy. All the people <laughs> in Malaysia started following us, uh, sending us messages, reactions, tagging us in, in photos and more. We we really appreciate all the messages of encouragement. It was uh, something that we do not uh, expect, expect, but we are very proud of it and we thank you deeply. Mm, nice, nice. And uh, obviously, you know, the next question that most uh, our Malaysian football fans who have discovered you guys will be asking is, 
Is there any plan to come to Malaysia to you know play in the future? Well, we, we always wanted to visit Malaysia with a founding group of nine friends, but we never imagined that we could go to play soccer. Uh, mm -hmm. Although now with all that is happening, it would be it would be definitely a, a dream to play soccer in Malaysia. Dreams mm -hmm. are, are there to be fulfilled. So so that would be a, a great. Wow. Okay. I'm definitely, definitely sure everybody here is looking forward to that. Just for an, a casual chat here, I mean, probably you can name me three things that you have learned about Malaysia since you guys decided to adopt the name as the team, the team's name and all that. I mean, what are the three things that you have learned about Malaysia? Well, uh, first of all, we, we look into the, the flag. Uh, we now know that, that the, the star represents all the the state of of the states of Malaysia mm -hmm. and and uh, the meaning of the colors. We we know a lot of the culture and and all the infrastructure of of Malaysia. It's great, very very well organized, and and we really look forward to to go to there and and meet you all and and know a lot of a lot more of malaysia definitely definitely okay and um, you know um which any any particular team uruguay football team that you particularly support for kundo and gonzalo uh because uh i mean we do know a few teams we do know penarol nacional so i'm not i'm wondering whether is any of these teams you, you guys support uh, nacional most but uh, we we have we have uh, uh, some players that are fans of of Peñarol too. Ah, okay, okay, okay. And uh, you know, in your opinion, who is the the greatest footballer from Uruguay? From Uruguay, mm. Enzo Francescoli. Luis Suarez at the moment, mm. but there are there are a lot of players that that, that are great. Really, we have a, a great uh, football culture. Mm -hmm. Yes, one of the things I admire. Yeah, one of the things I really admire about Uruguay is your football culture. I mean, I I've seen the the passion. You know, the the how you guys pa uh, the passion that you all have for the game. You know, we in Malaysia, yeah, we really respect you guys. You know, uh, for able to produce so many good footballers despite you know a small, very small population. I think you guys are about three to four million, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, three point five millions. Okay, nice, nice. And uh, you know what is uh Malaysia FC sort of like uh, approach? I mean, what sort of philosophy or how, what sort of style of game that you guys like to play? We uh, the the background of the of the team is, is first of all the the friendship. We are mm -hmm. a group of friends that that uh, have fun, play football. Uh, Party together and and we we love to to meet us all in the in the in the field and and fight for every every ball. Uh, tactically, uh, in in the other hand, we are uh, an offensive team and we like to go to the attack. Uh, we don't play defensive and that's it. Mm, nice, nice, nice. And uh, by the way, are there like any other teams that, you know, uh, in similar situation like you guys who have adopted other countries as, you know, the name or the logo? Yes, there are a, a, lot, uh, a variety of, of names. Uh, there is Palestine, mm -hmm. Palestino. Uh, we played against them the last week. Uh, but there are a lot of uh, different names. Uh, some, some, uh, but not not all countries. But but uh, maybe uh, how a group of friends uh, are known in the society. That, so they they put that name uh, to the team and and uh, follow. So so it's. Because of its uh, uh, an amateur league, uh, it's uh, very common to to uh, cho choose a name that represents a group of friends that are, are playing there. Okay. 
Um, any last words from yourself? Uh, you know, to your new fans in Malaysia. Well, we we just want to tell you that we have a tattoo that represents the founding group. It represents the union as a group of friends with with the star and the moon and the letters L M. Uh, no, nothing more. Just uh, send greet, greetings to all Malaysians and thank you for for the opportunity to to talk to you and and to to be known in in Malaysia uh, through you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking your time to speak to us, by the way. I think by, right now is uh, almost 8 p.m. in Montevideo. Uh, just just a, a few words. Uh, we uh, uh, we have received uh, some not so nice messages telling us to, to respect the Malaysian flag, but we we just want to, to be clear in saying that we do not want to disrespect the, the nation. We are proud to carry your flag as an insignia mm -hmm. and we want to leave it at the top there uh, here in Uruguay. Okay, all right, sure. No problem at all. I, I'm sure a lot of fans out there will understand that, but definitely. Okay, uh, I guess that's just about it. Um, thank you so much, Gonzalo and Facundo for taking your time to speak to me myself. And of course, I'm sure listeners here in Malaysia really appreciate to hear more about you guys. Gracias. Yep, go ahead. Could be good to meet you someday there and talk a lot more and have a couple of coffee. <laughs> okay, yes, definitely. Um, you know, we sure, sure, we sure we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. It, it was nice to meet you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank All right. Okay. Bye -bye. All right. Okay. With that said, we will end this week's episode of the Bola Bola Show podcast. Bye for now. Thank you for listening.